it's Stephanie. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this DIY tutorial. I decided to change things up a little bit and do a super easy DIY project for all skill levels. Today I'm showing you how to make these wooden hooks. We have this really small awkward wall and we needed a place to hang our hats so I thought this would be the perfect project. You can make these circle hooks with wooden dowels or you can make them square with two by two lumber. We had leftover wooden dowels from our closet rod so that's what I used here. This is a super easy and inexpensive project and it's also customizable. You can make the hooks any length that you want and you can stain them or paint them to match any color in your space. I just left ours natural because we already have some nice wood accents in our closet. You could also make this into a jewelry holder. So if you cut little slits into the top of the wood, you can put little bracelets or necklaces into each slot. Something to think about if you need a jewelry holder. If you guys missed it, I gave my entire closet a makeover and I recorded the whole project. So I will link those videos in the description below. I love how these hooks turned out. I'm going to go ahead and start hanging our hats on here. If you guys want to DIY your own wooden hooks, here are the seven simple steps. I bought four different types of screws and bolts and drywall anchors before finding the perfect solution and after a few trial and errors I found that this combination with the hanger bolt and the toggle bolt to be the most sturdy. I started by making a 45 degree cut. measured four inches from the long end of the 45 degree angle, make a pencil mark at the four inch mark, and then make that straight cut. First, mark the center of your wood hook with a pencil, then take a 3 16 inch drill bit and drill a hole into your wooden hook. You want to make sure that you're drilling straight into the angled part of the wood. This will allow the hook to sit straight on your wall. Here's a little hack. Measure how deep your screw needs to be in the wood and then measure that same depth on the drill bit. Place a piece of tape at the predetermined depth so that when you're drilling you don't go past the piece of tape. Use some sandpaper to make your wood hooks nice and smooth. Twist in the pointy end of your hanger bolt to your wood hook using a pliers. Make sure to twist in this screw as much as you can without it going through the other end. If you don't twist the bolt in far enough, you won't be able to get your hook tight to the drywall. Get the toggle bolt started by twisting it onto the end of your screw. Take this time to stain or paint your wooden hooks. I decided to leave my natural to match the wood accents in my closet. Make a mark on your wall where you want your hooks to go. For the toggle bolt to fit in the drywall, you'll need to drill a 5 8 inch hole. the top. 
taco bolt tight together and push it into the hole in the wall. Pull on your wood hook and start twisting it so that your toggle bolt grabs onto the back of the drywall. Keep twisting until the wood hook is tight. Last, use a level to make sure your hooks are nice and straight. <laughs>